to cookery pan, preparing eggs, cereal, and starch dishes. In this module, we will present to you the knowledge, skills, and attitude in order to prepare, cook, and present different eggs, cereal, and starch dishes. Before you cook eggs, it is important to understand the structure and composition as well as the nutritive value of egg. That's why, in this lesson, you will be able to identify the structure and composition and its nutritive value. Let us define first what is egg. Eggs are laid by female animals of many different species, like birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish, and have been eaten by humans for thousands of years. Let us now identify the egg structure and composition. We have eggshell, air cell, shell membrane, egg white, chalice, vitellin membrane, and egg yolk. Eggshell. It serves as a protective covering of the egg and it helps maintain its freshness. It constitutes 11% of the weight of the egg. Grainy in texture, it is semi-permeable, which means air and moisture can pass through its pores. It has bloom or cuticle that keeps the egg free from dirt and dust. The color of the shell of an egg, either white or brown, depends on the breed of the hen. Air cell. It is an empty space between eggshell and egg white at the large part of egg. As the egg ages, moisture and carbon dioxide escape and oxygen is absorbed that turn it into air pocket. Shell Membrane It is transparent protein membranes that provide efficient defense against bacterial invasion and it protects the whole egg from breaking and keeping the egg fresh. Shell membrane is seen when peeling hard-boiled egg. Egg white. It is also called albumin. It constitutes 58% of the egg weight. It is known as the egg yolk anchor because it holds the yolk in place and at the center. And it is gelatinous-like substance. There are two types of egg white. The thick egg white and the thin egg white. Chalice. It is also called yolk cords, an opaque roof of an egg white, because it holds the yolk in the center of the egg. It attaches the yolk's casing to the membrane lining, then to the egg shell. The more prominent the chalice, the fresher the egg. Vitellin membrane. It is also called clear casing because it protects and gives shape to the egg yolk. Egg yolk, the center of an egg, it approximately 31% of the weight of the egg. It contains less water but more protein than white. It contains also riboflavin, thiamine, source of lecithin that is effective emulsifier. The color of the yolk depends on the food of the hen and the species or breed. Now, the question is, why is egg considered as a complete food? Eggs are one of the nature's most nutrient-dense foods. It contains nutrients that are essential parts of a healthful diet. Eggs are a rich source of complete protein, similar to the quality of protein present in meat and fish. It helps to build and repair body tissues and cells. Eggs also have iron. Iron is a mineral that our bodies need for many functions because if you have too little iron, you may develop iron deficiency. Eggs are rich in vitamins like vitamin A, which is the key for good vision, healthy teeth, healthy immune system, and cell growth. 
It also have vitamin D, E, and B12. Vitamin D are substances that your body needs to grow and develop normally. Vitamin E, in our body, vitamin acts as an antioxidant that helps to protect your cells from damage, and B12 that keeps nerve and blood cells healthy. Wow! I hope you learned something in our egg terrific lesson. To check your understanding, please answer the activity after this lecture, entitled Egg Wizard. That's all for today. Take care, stay healthy, and be excited always.